Well, first question, you rooting for the Braves? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, Pittsburgh guy, so I'm a Pirates fan, so obviously my early childhood was the Braves ruining my life, so no, no, no chance. No chance. With the, the offense kind of, I guess, sputtered in the last couple of weeks, how much of that do you kind of attribute to the guys still learning a new system? How much of it's just performance-based? I, I guess where do you kind of stand on, on, on the struggles of the last couple of weeks? Yeah, it's, it's everything. It's uh, – Coach has got to coach better. You got to put the players in better positions, and the players got to execute better. I mean, it really is. A, it's everything. Uh, when you look at that stuff, it, it ain't just one player. It's not just one thing. It's not. Uh, it's not the every play call that we're making or anything like that, or the, or the way we're going about it. It's we got to execute better, and we got we got to do a better job of giving our players more opportunities to have some success too. You know, we we feel like we we, we keep leaving 15 plays out there a game. And then when you play good teams like Kentucky and Florida, that's what happens. You can't leave those plays out there. You got to execute them. You got to finish them. And uh, you know we keep. You know we believe in what we do. We're not. We're not wavering. We're in attack mode. We're making sure we stick to. The, you know this is. It's important when you have, when you uh, face this little bit of adversity that we have right now that we stick to our plan. That we stay true to the culture that we're trying to set here. And uh, by no means are we in any kind of panic mode. In, 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 we got to do everything better, and we got to make sure we're, we're focusing more on the details. Make sure we're focusing on getting these guys to execute better, and, and then our job as coaches is to do a better job of making sure they have more opportunities to have that success. How does the offense look for the last two days of practice? You know what? Today was a great day. It really was. Those guys they came out a little bit sluggish, um, a little bit tired from the weekend, but man, they responded really well. After that first period that we had, those guys started flying around. I thought the execution level, you know, put Tuesday's usually the rough day because everything's new. And uh, I thought this was honestly a really good Tuesday for us because we were challenging our guys with different things, and they did a really nice job with it. In, in the past game, the completion percentage is lower, and people blame that on fits, but there's a lot of different reasons for that, pressure and otherwise. Where do you see the disconnect in, in the passing game right now? Uh, I mean, it, it's kind of the same thing. I was to just keep it simple because that's what we need to do. We don't need to overcomplicate this thing. And it's, you know, we got to do a better job putting our players in, better, in a better position. That's part A. Part B is we got to protect. Part C is Nick's got to do a better job of making sure he knows where the ball goes. And then part and the last part, part D is we got to catch football when it's thrown to us. So it really we really do got to keep it simple. We got to make it about us. Um, yes, we played two really good defenses that challenged us, uh, but by no means did we feel like uh, we didn't have opportunities to to, to execute and win those ball games. Uh, we have to learn how to execute in those stressful situations. And, <laughs> And when we do, I think it's going to be really good. When you say keep things simple, do you mean within the play calling or within kind of technique emphases? Or? It's more about the focus. When you start thinking about 25 different things, I mean, you're never going to get anything accomplished. So it's about our focus. Uh, and, and I've said it in here. It's the fundamentals. It's making sure that we do our job as coaches of putting these guys in position. And it's the player's responsibility to make sure that they're focused and disciplined. And, and I think that we improved on that part of it, you know, going out and only have one penalty that – you know, the snap issue, I thought we did a really nice job there. Uh, but we got to make sure that we execute when the opportunities are there. And it's not about making miraculous plays. It's about making the plays when they're presented to you. And that, that's, you know, we got to do that. We got to do that better. When a player like Osiris has a drop in a, in a moment that was magnified <coughs> like that, what do you tell him after something like that? No, I mean, to me, that's a great learning experience for him. Like he's, this is his first opportunity, real opportunity. I know he's played some snaps before, but he's really getting an opportunity right now. And I think, you know, something that he and I have focused on since spring and me getting to know him was being able to overcome those adverse moments. And so he's a guy who, you know, this is a big opportunity for him going forward. I think uh, his teammates believe in him. We believe in him. And I, and I said it in our, in our offensive unit meeting the other day. I said, you know, we're not going to hide behind anything. Yes, Osiris, you should have caught that ball. Yes, you know that, but we're not going to hide behind it. We're going to go get better. We're going to reenact it. We're going to give you opportunity. We're going to come back to you in the future. So... We're not going to hide behind that stuff. We really aren't. How much about the fact that you're still going to keep looking for the right play for matchups? How much of using the full, basically, 40 seconds of the, of the play clock is that looking for that right play, making the checks, or some that maybe just bluffing and delaying? Yeah, I mean, it's we, to, to, we're, honestly, we could probably do a little bit better job of that. We could we can use a variety of it more, because that's the basis of this offense. It's, it's the ability to go really fast. It's the ability to get the perfect play. and so. Uh, if there's one area that maybe we, we can do a better job, it is that. Because I think there's a, there is a huge advantage of being able to make them show their, their hand. And so uh, you know, that is advantageous to us. And sometimes you run the play clock down a little bit, but that's part of it. It really is. And I think 
you know, where we're at and how, how good our defense is playing, that honestly can help us. I you know the, the basis of the offense is run pass option, but that said, how, how can you help get the ball into the running back's hands more often? Well, you call plays that he gets it, you know I mean? That's, and that's, that's part of it. You know, we can call more plays to, to get him, whether we throw it or hand it off to him. I think, you know, we have two really good players and we got, they got to get touches and Nick's obviously an, ex, an explosive player himself. So we got to make sure they're all getting touches and we have some guys on the outside that need to make sure they touch the ball too. And so going forward, it's, it's definitely going to be an emphasis of ours and make sure that we find different ways and creative ways to get those guys the ball. Going off of that, Coach Moorhead keeps saying that he thinks Nick's making the right decisions. I mean, the past two games, he, his yards per carry hadn't been that great. Do, mm -hmm. do you see it that way too? Do you think he's making the right decisions? As far as whether to run or pass? Exactly. Oh, yes, uh, he's, he's done a really nice job. I mean, that's, uh, that is definitely not, not part of the problem at all. I think he's, he's, he's attacked these uh, game plans really well. He knows exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Um, the execution level may not be exact for everybody, but uh, as far as his decision making, I thought he's been really strong. Do you, you think? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. Mm -hmm. there. Do you yeah. think part of that, is why he's struggled a little bit recently, is just because he's the pressure that's coming at him, and obviously the offensive line's had some issues. Or why, well, do, you, why do you think that is? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think when you when you again, I like to just keep things simple. When you look at that game, and if a few plays go our way, I don't think those. I don't think Nick gets the criticism that he gets. I really, I just really don't. You know, we didn't. We only had three opportunities really with the ball in the first half. You know, so it's not like we're 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 having 15 possessions and things aren't going that way. I think Nick's done a really nice job. I, I really do. I think he's gotten better each week. Um, but the execution level on a whole, again, yeah, now we're playing really good defenses. We're about to play another really good defenses, so we're going to get challenged again. And the execution and the margin for error is small, so the execution's got to go up. And, I, and that's 11 guys on the field. That's not Nick. That's 11 guys on the field. Kind of along the lines of, of the running game and, and the options and, and things like that, getting the balls to the running back, something that you mentioned a while ago, do you, do you see a situation where you kind of take the option out a little bit and, and more design run type things to make sure that those guys are doing? Only up? if it's advantageous to us. Really is. I mean, that's, you know, and Coach does a great job of that stuff. He really does. He's, he's done a really good job 99% of the time of putting our guys in the best position to have success. Now we have to execute, and that's each position coach making sure their players know what they're supposed to do, and that's each player taking accountability to actually know what they're supposed to do and execute their assignments. So we got to do a better job of executing our assignments before we can ever think about changing who we are. And honestly, we feel really good about who we are. We're not going to change this culture. It's critical right now that we put our foot in the ground here and, uh, and stay true to what we want this culture to be. Do you feel like you're close to a breakthrough with the offense? I think we're I think we're strong enough to stay where we're on our path. I really do. I think we're we're yes, we, we need to put more points up. Yes, we need to get more yards. We can't walk away from a football game with two hundred yards of offense. That can't happen again. Uh, but but the reality is we know this works. It has worked, it's been proven to work. We gotta get the execution level up to where it needs to be. Last couple of weeks, Watts had pretty good showing on special teams. Where is he as far as the receiver rotation and how is he developing there? I would say nothing has changed as of as of now uh, in, in regards to how much he'll play or not play. But I will say that he's gotten a whole. I mean, he, he had three or four plays in practice today that were just like, this kid's growing. You know, the kid's growing. He's getting more confident in what his assignments are and what he's supposed to do. He catches the ball extremely well. So he's someone that you know, I don't want to be in a hurry with him. I want him to continue to grow and develop and. And, and mature in that position so that you know when he when it's the right time it's the right time for him and he can go out and have a heck of a career